One of the studies that I think you're familiar with was when a biologist and a quantum physicist partnered up to look at proton spin in the brain. Do you know about that one? Oh, absolutely. You're the only person I know who knows about that. I saw the original thing on PubMed. It was like, this is the most important study ever that no one ever talked about. Tell me about it. It's fascinating. And I think we should take a little step back and talk about birds first, because it helps us understand why this would be important, right? And and this is a well-established theory and understanding of how birds make their annual migration without any map, without any land stops, without, you know, their GPS. How are they doing this? They're doing this, it seems, because these photons of light that enter their eyes become entangled and they become radical pairs. So when you have a radical pair, it's a free um, photon that can be paired with another photon of light and they become entangled, meaning that they are inseparable in information. So like a shoe, if you take a pair of shoes on a trip and you only end up with the right shoe, you know that that left shoe is at home and you know what it looks like and you know what the color is and the size. That's a very simplistic sort of analogy for entanglement. And the same thing can be um, said for quantum entangled particles. And so these birds are using entangled uh, photons of light with the magnetic field of the earth to get a accurate, immediate time shot of where they are and where they need to go to migrate across the earth. Now, this same phenomenon is happening in the cells, in our neurons, in the brain. We have these protons and the spins become entangled meaning that once we know about one of those, the other one is immediately, um, the information is ascertainable. And not only that, they live in this relationship, even separated by billions of miles, right? This is something that is not local. Um, And we can talk about that neat discovery too. But these protons in the brain, the spin of these protons are being informed by magnetic fields. And that just opens up a whole new window of how EMFs impact our body, how we might have a sixth sense with that magneto reception, just like the birds in their annual migration do. And it opens up a deeper understanding of how neurons are functioning. You know, we have this idea that it all comes down to electricity. Those axons fire, the electrical conduction is sent on its way. And just like you said, those, that's actually really slow when it comes down to the math of it. That's, that's very slow. A a fraction of a second is really slow. And, and we're finding that the Niels Bohr Institute out of Denmark has done amazing research about how those neurons are actually conducting sound. And that gets turned into a piezoelectric charge through the fascia, through the liquid crystalline structure. And then is turned into that electrical conduction. When you add in an entangled radical pair, then you have this instantaneous communication that's happening that is something that we have never, ever appreciated in modern science. And that study was one of the first, I think it came out last year, just absolutely mind-blowing. But what this study found was that... we all very recently learned how to watch proton spin in living cells. So they looked at, I don't remember what kind of animal, it might have even been a human, but whatever, I think it was a human. Yeah. Um, what they found was that every time your heart beats, the, the spin of protons in the brain all at the same time would change direction. And that means with absolute clarity and proof, unless there was some mistake in the hardware, which there probably wasn't, um, that we are quantum systems. And quantum is so much faster than the speed of light because nothing is transmitted. Light, something's moving. But with quantum information, there is no lag time at all. Even if you're on the other end of the universe, if two particles are entangled, you snap your fingers here, that one's fingers snap at exactly the same time. So given that 
the cells in our body are talking at a quantum level that's so fast. Dude, we're so slow. We're at 350 milliseconds. Unless you hacked your brain, you might be a quarter a quarter second. Uh, if you're young, well, you're not going to see it. And you, when something changes in your quantum reality, you won't know it changed because it just looks like reality changed, right? And we've just proven in that study just by itself without any of the other data points that, oh my gosh, we're quantum. And all the other set that we think is causative, it's happening, but it's happening on top of the quantum effects, which is why if we can go to the lowest levels, we have the most leverage to make efficient change in the world or in our own consciousness, our own bodies, and in our own healing, which is where you focus. You talked about fascia, which is an amazingly important part of the body that is, funny enough, made out of collagen, almost like collagen might have some magic powers. You're listening to The Human Upgrade with Dave Asprey.